For this short video, we're going to look at the conclusion section of the How to Write a Lab Report notes, and you should be looking at this highlighted portion here in your notes. The conclusion is the eighth part of the lab report, and the purpose is to describe your new answer to the question or the original problem statement from the very beginning. And this was the reason why we were doing the lab all together, to try to answer this question. So we need to include the four parts at the bottom here that are in bold. Number one, we have to answer the original problem, okay, which was the reason we were doing this lab report. So answer the problem. Next, we need to revisit that hypothesis and tell whether we were right or wrong in our hypothesis. And at this point, we can probably also tell why our hypothesis was right or wrong. Third, we need to summarize our observations. What was the data that we collected during this lab showing us or telling us? In other words, what did we learn? The fourth thing we need is reasons for error. <clears throat> this is often the most difficult part or the most forgotten to do part of, of the conclusion section. Reasons for error are anything that could have happened during this lab where we could have made a mistake and gotten bad data. Okay. One thing to remember is we are all human, we are all going to make mistakes, and very often these mistakes come when we are trying to measure something. Whether it's measuring how much uh, of a liquid or a substance goes in a beaker, measuring the length or time of something, uh, we're going to have human error in all of those things. Or perhaps we misunderstood the, a procedural step. These are all reasons for error. But Remember, we need to have all four of these parts in our conclusion. The last thing about a conclusion is that we do not want to use personal pronouns. Those are words like I, we, our group. Okay. It says instead, describe what the evidence or data showed and refer to it factually. You could simply say <clears throat> the data was showing us, or the data showed, I'm sorry, we should say the data showed and then explain what it showed. Leave I, we, or our group out of it. Remember, scientific writing is short but sweet. Get to the point. Don't be wordy. Okay?